Hello, 8th graders. Today we're going to talk about calculating simple interest. Before we get started, we're going to uh, do a little bit of review. Interest, remember, can be uh, measured in dollars, and that's the dollars that you have to pay extra when you're using somebody else's money, or uh, when we're investing, it's the dollars extra that we're going to get when somebody else uses our money. In these problems that we're going to do, interest is the answer that we're looking for. The other way that interest is measured is with the percentage rate, the annual percentage rate, the APR. That's a measurement that we use to compare loans from different places, uh, and it's all come down to the, um, the percentage rate, and the lower the rate, the less interest that you're going to have to pay. Uh, in the problems that we're going to work on, the annual percentage rate is called rate, and we need that to calculate the dollar amount in interest. So let's look at the simple interest formula. It's a simple multiplication formula. You can see we have I on the left of the equal sign, and then P, R, and T on the right, and all of them are multiplied together. The I stands for our answer, interest, and money paying for the privilege of using somebody else's money, and that's always measured in dollars. The P is the principal, or the amount of money that's being borrowed. It's also measured in dollars. I is that annual percentage rate. It's always a percent. And T stands for term, or time, the length of the loan, and it's measured in some period of time. Years, months, days, something along those lines. For the formula here, our time period always has to be in years. So if we get a problem that has the, uh, the term or the time measured in months or weeks or something else, then we have to convert it to years before we can do the multiplication. So let's look at an example. Sierra borrowed $740 for two years at 9% interest. We want to find the amount of simple interest she has to pay on the loan, and we want to find the total amount that she's going to have to repay. The total amount she's going to have to repay will be the original amount she borrowed, $740, plus any interest that she has to pay. So according to the simple interest formula, we have to find three things. We have to find the principal, we have to find the rate, and we have to find the time. Principal is always measured in dollars, so we look up in the problem and find uh, the number that has a dollar sign next to it, and that's the $740. Rate is always measured as a percent, so we look at, up at the top and we find that there's only one number with a percent, and that's 9%. And finally, there's only one number that has a value that's measured in a period of time, and that's two, two years. And once we have our three values here, then we can put them into the formula. So our formula is principal times rate times time. So the principal is the $740, and that can just go straight into our formula here. Now the rate, uh, we could use 9% as a percent like that if the calculator that you're using has a percent key. If your calculator doesn't have a percent key and you don't know how to use it, then you need to convert that percent to a decimal. Now the word percent means per 100 or divide by 100. So to a change any percent to a decimal, you just need to divide by 100. Uh, you can do that in your calculator, 9 divided by 100, or you can just move the decimal place two places over to the left. So we're going to put the 9% in here, but then we have to convert it to a decimal, and that is 0 0.09. And then finally, our time is two years. Since it's measured in years, we don't have to do anything with that. We can just leave it. So then what we can do is we can put that into our calculator and put in 740 times uh, 0.09 times two, and that gets us $133 uh, or 1332 now, since this is measured in dollars, we can't leave it at just 0.2 because it's either got to be dollars or dollars and cents. Since we have a, a decimal there, we have to add the extra uh, dollar and give us the $133.20. So that's the first answer, the total amount of simple interest. The second one, the total amount she's going to have to repay, we just take that $133.20 
and add it to the $740 that were borrowed, and that gets us $873.20. Let's try a little bit more uh, difficult example. Here we have Bob. He borrowed $12,500 for six months at 9.25% interest. We're still looking for the simple interest and the total amount that's going to need to be repaid. Now, if you look at this one, there's a couple of differences. First of all, the percent. You can see that the percent is just not a, a simple number. It's got a decimal portion to it. Whenever you have a, a, a percent that has decimal portion to it, you need to keep that. Uh, don't just round it off. We can't round this to 9%. We need to keep it at 9.25%. The other thing you'll notice is that the term is in months instead of years. So we're going to have to do uh, some converting there to get it into years. But the process at the beginning is still the same. We're still looking for principal, interest rate, and time. The dollar amount is the principal, and that's the $12,500. The interest rate is the percent number, and that's the 9.25%. And then the time is the number that is measured in a length of time, and that's our six months. Now, before we move on, we're going to have to do a couple of conversions here. To do the interest rate, once again, we're going to divide by 100. And so that'll bring us to 0 0.0925. That's just 9.25 divided by 100. And then for the time period, uh, some people will just know that six months is half a year. Uh, and that's fine, you could just go with 0.5 there. But what happens when you're doing it for one month or the loan is for seven months or some other period of time? So you need to have some kind of a standard way of doing this. And the way that we convert from months to years is always by division. We divide by the number of months in a year. And since there's 12 months in a year, we just take whatever number of months we have, divide it by 12, and that'll give us the number of years. So if we take six divided by 12, that gets us 0.5 or half. Now that we have these numbers, we can stick them into our uh, simple interest formula. Once again, that's principal times rate times time. And we can put those numbers in there, 12,500 times 0.0925 times 0.5. And if we put that into our calculator, we get 12,500 times 0.0925 times 0.5, and that gets us 578.125. Now this time we have too many decimals, so we're going to have to round it. And to round it, we round to the uh, nearest penny, the, the hundreds place, and so uh, that uh, five on the end uh, would round up to the next number, so it's $578.13 would round it to the nearest penny. And then the second answer is the same as in the previous example. We just take that $578.13 and add it to the amount that we borrowed, the $12,500, and so then Bob has to repay back total $13,078.13. Okay, so now it's your turn. I want you to try this out and I'll give you a little bit of time to uh, do the calculations and then I'll put the answers on the screen here. Kayla borrowed $75,000 for five years at 12% interest. We want to find the simple interest and the total amount that Kayla has to repay. So remember, we have our interest formula, uh, I is equal to P times R times T. Remember that the principal amount is the dollar amount, the rate is the percent amount, and the time is the number that has the period of time attached to it. If you need to convert the time to years, you need to do that. If you, uh, uh, or you do need to uh, convert the rate into a decimal before you do your calculations. So I'll give you a little bit of time here.
If you still need some extra time, if you're still calculating, go ahead and pause the video now. And then when you're ready to check your answer, then you can press play again. But the answer you should have is the interest is $45,000. That's 75,000 times 0 0.12 times five. And then the total cost is going to be that $75,000 that was borrowed plus the $45,000 in interest, which gets us $120,000 that needs to be paid back. Okay, this was an example for you to do with uh, where we have the time per period measured in years and an easy interest rate. And so there's another one here, last one, uh, that's a little bit more difficult. In this one, Stacy borrowed $557,500, that's a lot of money, only for one month at 12.5% interest. wonder what she was doing with the money. Uh, we're going to find the amount of simple interest she has to pay and how much total needs to be repaid. So once again, we've got our simple interest formula. On this one, it is measured in months, so you're going to have to convert there. And we do have a decimal in our percent, so don't drop that half a percent because it'll make a big difference so once again i'm going to give you a little bit of time and then if you need more time you can always pause the video before i give the answer Okay, it's time to reveal the answer. If you're still working, hit pause and then play when you're ready. So Stacy's going to have to pay back uh, or going to have to pay $5,807.27 or 29 cents in interest um, just in one month. That's quite a bit of money for borrowing money for just a month. But when you're borrowing half a million dollars, I guess you're going to have to pay a lot of interest. Uh, that also means that Stacy has to pay back $563,307.29 total in interest. It's a lot of money. 